What's this, Dre? It's a surfing board. <laughs> You'll never guess what I found now. That crazy internet thing just keeps blowing my mind. I found out that the most searched barbecue related thing on Google is how to grill meat. What? <laughs> is, is seriously, is that even a question? It's like with a grill, of course. Video done. <laughs> hey, it's not that hard. Meat, grill, finished, right? Of course, that's a nonsense reaction because I'm making this video. That means there's something there. I thought about it. When I saw it, it made me laugh. But at the same time, I thought about, well, it feels like it's the same question as how do I boil water? How do I grill meat? Why is that question so seemingly simple, but yet so intriguing? And I came up with the fact that there's a science behind it. And there is a guy behind it that's famous for doing the science behind it. And I went there. I went to the Wikipedia page. His name is Louis Camille Maillard. And he thought about it long and hard. As a matter of fact, he built his career on it. And even better than that, he has become immortal because of it. Everybody knows this person because he figured out what happens while you are grilling meat. Now, of course, I'm a smart guy, but memorizing Wikipedia in my head is not like the thing that I do. But I want to give you like what Wikipedia says about the Maillard reaction. The Maillard reaction is a collective name for a complex series of chemical reactions that occur between reducing sugars and amino acids. Basically what that means is that in this process, your meat is turning from something that's mostly red or whitish into something that is brown and tasty. And that's where we come in. That is what we love so much. That's why we eat meat. That's what the Maillard reaction does. I want to have more. The browning, the caramelization on the outside. I think we uh, devoted enough time to Wikipedia and this uh, Mr. Maillard guy, right? Let's fire up the barbecue. Our barbecue is getting up to temperature, but before we start grilling, we have to understand more about grilling meat. There's this Maillard reaction, but there's much more going on. For instance, you can grill your steak or otherwise meat in a cast iron pan like this. A cast iron pan retains a lot of heat once it's hot. That means when you put your meat in it, it's going to sear it off, but it's going to build up a nice thick crust. When you're grilling meat on a barbecue like this Napoleon kettle grill, you get a lot of charcoal flavor in your meat. And that gives you a distinct flavor, which I appreciate a lot. Now I found a way to combine both. And it's not like I invented it. It's there, it's already here. The cast iron grill is in this barbecue. This way you get the best of both worlds. Look at this beautiful Wagyu steak. Isn't she a beauty? And of course, it's not all about steak. This video is about grilling meat, but yeah, if we're grilling meat anyway, why not select the best we can have? I'm going to let the steak air dry before I'm actually gonna grill it. And you're thinking, well, wait, wait a minute. Maybe you want to season it. No, I don't want to season it up front.
you season your steaks up front, you're drawing moisture out of the steak. And of course, that's gonna give you a better crust. But that's why we air dry our steaks. Let them get a nice bit of dry outside and then sear them off. You're gonna have the same amazing crust. But if you put salt for that purpose up front on your steak, you're gonna basically brine your steak. You're going to change the flavor of the steak through the osmosis process. And that's such a shame because if you have a great steak, you want it to be a great steak and not turn it into cured meat. And in my extensive research on steak, I found out that if you have a good finishing salt like this, this is Maldon salt. And this salt is perfect when you finish it. Just sprinkle a little bit on top while your steak is resting and it will make your steak taste even better. It will enhance the beef flavors. If you want to, you can also use fleur de sel, which basically does the same. Enough talk about steaks and salt and all these craziness. Grilling meat is not hard. You just have to do it the right way. So, think about your Maillard reaction. Look for browning, not blackening. Think about what you want to use for searing that steak. Cast iron, stainless steel, charcoal. Figure out what your personal preference is. My preference, you already know. Now, Morrison, how about some steak tasting? Look who's here. And don't tell me you don't know about Dre yet. He's the guy that, that we helped with uh, the smoker. Surprise. Surprise. So, Dre showed up today, and guess what he brought? Booyah. What's this, Dre? It's a surfing board. It's a surfing board, and it's for tall people. They need short surfing boards, right? <laughs> Dre brought this, and it's freaking awesome. Thank you very much, Dre. No problem. Dre is gonna explain what it is in our other channel, so go check that out. Our YouTube channel, the link is down below, but you can also find it on other channels in this, on this YouTube channel. What? You like the other channel too? Yes, Eva is a big star on the other channel, so definitely check that out. Now we gotta do our steak testing, but luckily we have our beautiful surfing board. Look at that. That's what it's made for. Let's do some testing. Let's go. How to grill meat. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Delicious. This technique works as well on pork, on chicken. It goes for everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Don't forget to check out our own channel. Big thank you to our YouTube members and our patrons. See you guys next time. Until then. Oh, come on. This is not, this is not happening to me. It's makkelijk and keep on grilling. grilling. Oh, I have another piece. Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs>